We have uh, quiet. All right, good afternoon. Uh, Paul Formica. Today is Wednesday, October 31st. It's a little bit after 5 o'clock in our series of updating uh, videos on the progress uh, of a Storm Sandy recovery. Uh, we are to a point where we have 26 roads that are impacted by uh, trees and wires. Uh, all but two are somewhat passable. Uh, we have two that are impassable. We're working on freeing those up. Uh, Oak Grove Beach has got a huge amount of sand and debris on it. We're cleaning that off in Crescent Beach. Uh, you've seen the, uh, the change in that. We've got the pole cleaned up. We've got the road uh, modified and hopefully by noontime tomorrow both of those roads uh, will be in good shape including Atlantic. Uh, the power situation, that's the question of the day. We have still at this point 97% uh, out of power but we have 11 crews uh, working currently uh, right here in the town of East Lyme. And uh, just to give you a visual, if you can picture that uh, power never was lost from Tires Plus up to the high school and some areas in the neighborhood uh, across the street. Uh, that power never went out during the storm. So what we're trying to do is close the gap uh, from that. Working north on 161, that circuit includes the rest of East Lyme and into Salem. So there are two crews dedicated to working on restoring that circuit and if they do a whole host of you will get your power back pretty shortly. Going south from Tires Plus there's a substation hey, that's right. in between there and Hope Street and uh, that is connected to the Flanders substation. There is a problem with a pole in the woods behind uh, uh, Damon Heights that carried three primary lines. We're trying to fix that. We have crews working on that all day. Once that's fixed, we hopefully can open up the circuit from Tires Plus down to the Morton, uh, Morton House area and get that going. Then the circuit on 156, uh, from there up until the old Silver Skate, uh, there's a few problems there. We're working on getting that corrected. There are crews working on that. So hopefully between the 161 North, the 161 South, and the Main Street circuits, we can get a lot of our problems solved in a relatively short time. There are people working on that. Whether you see them or not, they're working on that. North of the prison in the Giant's Neck area, that circuit is also connected to Old Lyme, so we're working in multiple locations to try to get that circuit done, uh, and we're trying to get that uh, fixed, and then from the prisons down to the Silver Skate, uh, that's another circuit. So all of these things are being worked independently and we're trying to get that done uh, as quickly uh, and as efficiently as we possibly can. Going on Route 1, going west, uh, when you get up past the uh, Stones Ranch area, uh, there, that circuit is connected to Old Lyme, so uh, we're, you know we're working on that. So we're trying the best we can to get you power and I think uh, shortly after this views, uh, we should start to see some progress with prog with power coming back on. And uh, we're, the CLMP is committed uh, to giving us assets to repair this problem. Uh, Lieutenant Governor was down uh, yesterday with Congressman Courtney, Representative uh, Jutilla, and Senator Stillman touring the area, so folks know what's going on and the help that we need. So if you can bear with them a little bit more, CLMP I think is going. Uh, to do the right thing. So we're in day two. We're moving toward restoration. Follow us on Facebook. It's the East Lyme Public Safety Facebook page. Uh, you can get some information on that. Those of you who can access through your phones, the eltownhall.com website. And if you can't do that, then 739-4434 is the number here at EOC. So we'll keep you updated as often as we can. Uh, on power, but uh, hang in there a little bit longer. There's a significant amount of damage in East Lyme uh, with trees on houses, with waves and water running through one end of the house to the other, uh, impacting roads and uh, infrastructure uh, for CLMP. Uh, but let's get them out there. Let's uh, try to be patient and we'll do the best we can. And if you need to call us again, 739 4434. Uh, the shelter. Uh, one more day, showers, uh, 7 a.m. to 10 and 4 p.m. to 8. Uh, East Lyme schools will be closed on Thursday. Uh, and we make a decision tomorrow on the shelter to see whether we're going to move it uh, as we're winding down the number of people 
that are using it. The potential exists that we'll move it to the community center. But no decision has been made yet uh, at this point in time. Again, remain cautious with generators. Carbon monoxide in homes has already sent a few people to the hospital. So uh, keep an eye on that uh, and be careful um, on what you're doing uh, with regard to that. Uh, and any wire down, uh, you know we've canceled Halloween because of the wires, because of the fact that there are no street lights. So treat every wire as live. And the most important thing now as we edge toward uh, recovery is safety. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you shortly. Be safe.